It's super easy and convenient to make microwave popcorn yourself. In recent years, there have been a number of emerging concerns about microwave popcorn, prepackaged microwave popcorn. One of them is the bag itself contains a nonstick lining uh, that can drive PFOA into the popcorn that we eat. It, it, PFOA is one of the nonstick chemicals that has a number of different health effects, and it's estimated that 20% of the PFOA in our bodies comes from microwave popcorn. My second big concern is with one of the artificial flavorings called diacetyl. It's an artificial butter flavoring that's been linked to serious lung disease, popcorn lung, especially in people who get exposed to a lot of it, factory workers or people who eat microwave popcorn a couple times a day. Uh, but even a little bit could be irritating to the lungs. My third big concern is that even though trans fats have gotten out of most of the grocery store aisles and most of our food, there's still significant amounts in some microwave popcorn. You look for partially hydrogenated or hydrogenated oils in the ingredient list. There are good alternatives. You can buy clean prepackaged microwave popcorn that's organic without diacetyl, without trans fats. Or it's super easy and convenient to make microwave popcorn yourself. You just take a quarter cup of kernels, put it in a brown paper bag, fold it over two or three times, and pop it in the microwave. If you want, you could add a half a teaspoon of olive oil and some salt before doing it, or you could season afterwards with any kind of seasoning you like. We like garlic parmesan, or, or lemon pepper, or chili lime. Be, be creative. But making it yourself is cheaper. It costs about 12 and a half cents a bag. It tastes better. It's fresh and alive flavorings that you do yourself. It gives you control. It's fun. You can experiment and you skip the PFOA, the diacetyl, the trans fats, chemical preservatives, etc.